Hello, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be taking a look at my custom engine. This is I've made customs before, but this is one of the one one of my most the ones that I like the best, basically. So this is um um introducing James or um the James from Adventure Begins. Um, basically all this is it's an Adventures James. I bought it off of Amazon for seven dollars. Um. And yeah, it's just an Adventures James. It should be anyway. So I kept the face. Um, I did paint up the buffers and stuff. Tender is the same. I just painted the five. I just carefully didn't hit the five. Same on this side. Hold on. Same on this side. It's the same kind of deal. We've got this little thing here. Anyway, so it's an Adventures model. So what I did is, so in these little wood kits, there's these paint things, little paint pot things, like this big, and I have a bunch of them, and so originally my plan was to just use normal paint. Well, that doesn't really work very well. It wouldn't go on. I had trouble with the back, trying to get all that paint on. Uh, if it's glossy, that's because I put a nail polish coat over certain parts of it, like the tender, like the coal. Um, anyway, so, Yeah. That's just um, black, pretty cheap paint. You can even buy it at the dollar store. Anyway, it does cover over it quite nicely. A couple layers and you're pretty much set. You're good. Um, so the other thing, though, is that... So, yeah, just looking around, we've got some detail. That's just Sharpie. Here, if we take a closer look real quick. If you take a look right there, all of that is is just some Sharpie. See the, those really faint red lines? That is also Sharpie. I'm planning on fixing that eventually. See the gloss? That's just um, nail polish. I covered in these. I basically took the off of the um, these um, the Trackmaster push along. Um, introducing James, but it's like twenty bucks on Amazon, and I didn't want to spend twenty bucks on Amazon for th something I can do for cheaper. So I ended up yeah. See the Sharpie had some hard time. I'm planning on coming in and fixing that eventually. But anyway, these I didn't end up painting. These are supposed to have red lines on them at some point. But yeah, anyway, so we've got James. That's starting to rub off. We've got this. Basically, the main thing I did is I painted him black. Um, I painted the tender black. I went through many different things. My original plan was to just draw five, but it didn't look very good how it turned out. So I just covered over the with some tape, painted it, and then filled it in with Sharpie the rest of the way. So it is supposed to be black, and when you're looking out here, it looks pretty decent. So, yeah, I'm overall pretty happy with how this ended up. That was a test that I did. Um, this is just, yeah, this is the same kind of paint. I went over this multiple times, then I scraped it away because I didn't like how that is. And honestly... I have done nothing else besides paint over the James, so the only thing that is ruined is the coal, unfortunately. I mean, not the coal, the back pieces, but, um, yeah, so we've got, I could always make this back into a normal James. Um, I did have a plan to use them, but at the moment I don't anymore, so the kind of the main plan for this is nothing at the moment, but anyway, yeah. So I painted them black with some cheap paint, it's pretty cheap, it's not very... Um, expensive. I mean, you can find it at the dollar store. They do come in little pot things when you, they're like that big. Kind of. Anyway, um, basically, basically, um, when you buy a wood build kit thing, they come with that kind of cheap paint and glue and stuff. So yeah, again, that's just Sharpie. And overall, I'm pretty proud of this model. It took, um, two days to build. It didn't take very long. Main, most of it was just waiting for paint to dry and do some finishing touches. Because originally I painted over that. Um, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's definitely it's a good first attempt. And the reason I don't really like how the tender turned out is good because with the tender I had some major problems. This side is also covered in um, nail polish. Same with that. It's just clear nail polish. Anyway, so the other problem I had is because the reason the tender looks like it does is because I had to scrape away the paint a couple times. Just because of um, the number five really caused me some difficulties. We've got the buffer beam right here that's all painted. And other than that, that's pretty much it. We've just got the normal James face with a little bit of black paint on him. Overall, that's introducing James, my 
custom and you will be seeing him at some point when I come up with my idea for the upcoming series thing I have planned. Anyway, until next time, this has been T Thomas and Ranger Productions, and I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye, and if you're still here, please consider commenting, tell me what you thought of this video, and goodbye.